Phillies comprise the field. And uh, Haley Berry is the favourite in this, the first year really that uh, Mick Price has attacked his two year old uh, racing with great gusto. He's ended up with the first and second favourites in Victoria's principal juvenile race. Haley Berry, unbeaten in her three starts, is the solid favourite. And the fact that she's been on a wet track and won, Patterson happy to stay with her. Rodine ran a placing behind her stable mate. Great performance, but had a jarring of a knee, and she's had to be kept in cotton wool really to get her here. Third favourite, Hammerbeam, and then Cousy. Moving into line well, Hammerbeam in the Cerise colours is ready. Cousy has the black with the pink cap. Gaelic Princess goes in. John Hawkes has three. McPrice has three runners in this field of 11, comprising four Colts or Geldings and seven Phillies. And the Phillies hold first and second favouritism. Just a few to get ready now. Haley Berry, the solid favourite, on and off track. Rodine, the second pick. Hammerbeam, third tote favourite. The third on course pick is Cousy. Victoria's principal juvenile race, a million dollars. The Amy Blue Diamond. Here's the favourite coming in now. Haley Berry, Damien Oliver, yet to win this great race. Scaredy Cat moved in. How funny has the outside barrier. There's Divine Secret going up in the blue for Greg Childs. How funny. Comes up to complete the line. So they're ready now for the 1,200 metre dash for a million dollars. Waiting for the starter to come over to the platform. He hasn't done so yet, so there might well be some kind of a problem behind the line that we can't see from here. I'm pretty sure they're all in the gates. All stalls are filled. But for some reason, the starter's not yet made his way over to the platform. But there's an attendant in the front of the gate I see there uh, with Rinky Dink making some adjustment to the bridle. Talk about a last minute uh, adjustment there. But now it has been completed and the two year olds are set. Ready, racing. Haley Berry jump well, beat Row Dean out. Hammerbeam was away reasonably, but can't muster. Away very fast was how funny on the outside as they settle into stride now. And Gaelic Princess is showing some speed, but it's Haley Berry at the thousand metres out in front by a length and a half. In second placing, Rinky Dink on the outside of Syrinx and Gaelic Princess fourth and wide. A length and a half to how funny, followed by Cousy and further back as Rasan on the outside. And then came Row Dean, Scaredy Cat, Divine Secret, and Hammerbeam as last of all. Favourite Haley Berry for D. Oliver at the 600 by a length and a half. Ricky Dink, Syrinx the inside and Gaelic Princess out three or four wide. About a half length away to How Funny followed by Cousy. Rasun's hard ridden. Rodine's gone past it coming towards the turn. And it's Haley Berry the leader. Travel well round the turn by two lengths to Gaelic Princess. How Funny on the outside's coming home reasonably and Cousy looking for a run from Ricky Dink and Rodine the widest runner but Haley Berry at the 200 out by two and a half. Rodine's the danger coming home and then Gaelic Princess and Cousy Rodine swept up a hundred ago went to her stable mate and took the lead and she's racing away and it's Rodine to win the Blue Diamond by tick links to Cousy Haley Berry third fourth in Divine Secret Gaelic Princess fifth long break to How Funny Rinky Dink Sarink Skeddy Cat Hammerbeam and Rasan Rodine Danny Nikolic has won his third Blue Diamond Mick Price in the first year that he's taken to two-year-old racing has won Victoria's principal two-year-old event. Rodine overcoming a setback in her preparation. The Blue Diamond preview run behind Haley Berry, outstanding. But Mick has had to keep her in cotton wool to get her right for the race. And he's presented her beautifully. She settled well back and has unwound an enormous finishing run. Impressive victory to Rodine. A daughter of Flying Spur, who herself was beaten in the running of the race in 1995 by Principality. And Rodine, Mick Price and Dan Nicolick prevail in the Blue Diamond Stakes. 
second and Wow, wasn't that exciting? Rodine coming with uh, a withering burst and giving Mick Price a winning treble and payday in uh, the first of two Group 1s this afternoon. Mick Price just wandering down from the grandstand as we speak, Andrew Bensley. Yes, he's about to walk up to us, Brendan. We'll go in there and see whether we can get him out. Uh, the, the group are pumped. Well done to Michael Christian, one of the lucky owners. Well done, mate. Thanks, Andrew. That was a big How thrill. good was that? That was pretty good in the end, wasn't it? Well, we had some worry about how she'd handle the ground, but... Uh, you just absolutely superb. And we'll catch up with Mick Price. The owners are pretty happy behind you, mate. Oh, well, it's a victory for the boys. You know, it's a 50,000 bucker. How did you feel through it? Because your filly, the other one, Halliburry, went out pretty quick. Yeah, I know, but, um, you know, I can't ride them. No. So, well, what were you feeling through the race trying to watch them all? I had my eyes on uh, the three of them every now and again. I was watching um, Halliburry, of course. Um... I saw Rodine getting niggled and I thought, well, that doesn't mean a lot for her because she doesn't know much and she needs the full 1,200. I'm very, very happy for Danny because he stuck his neck out and took a pick yep. and took the right pick. Um, so, you know. How close was this horse... Uh Mick just being congratulated here. Mick, going back a few weeks to Rodine's previous run, how close was, was the horse from being spelled just with that jar joint? Oh, not really. No. Um, sometimes you don't know how those joints respond, but all the right things was done, were done with the horse. And, you know, as, as we spoke about, to run her in the second race between the two would have been to compromise on the amount of fuel you had yeah. in the last with joints and everything else. You've done the right thing. Yeah. Go and enjoy it. How's this, mate? Give us a, you know, you're happy inside. I'm a very serious man. <laughs> He's pretty happy, though, Brendan, winning the uh, Blue Diamond. Oh, no doubt he would be. And uh, a filly by Flying Spur. Richard, yes. you've had a lot of fun with yes. Flying Spur. Yes, unfortunately, I'm getting older, and now I see all the, the sons and daughters of some of these great horses coming through. Look, fabulous effort coming down the outside there, unleashed a withering burst. Danny Nicklick, will he win on anything at the moment? And I was very, very impressed with Koozie. He knew nothing in the straight. He was all over the place. Didn't, didn't know through lack of experience how to go forward and win a race, and yet was only a, a length away from the winner. He's going to win a good race, and tell you what, he'd be a little silly chance for a golden slipper if he holds up, Koozie, for me. Now but for now, take nothing away from the winner. Great effect. Rodine, Dan Nicolick, that's his second Blue Diamond after formerly winning on paint. He's about to return. We saw the elation as he hit the line. And here he is again in the Group 1 winner's circle. Thrilling Halle stuff. Berry was a good run too. I mean, she made all the play out in front. She stuck on very, very well. And, uh, you know, there's no, no disgrace to run third in a race like that, given the run that she had. But that's the way she races. There was nothing wrong with the ride. They're about to return to scale here after the first of two Group 1s. The Amy Blue Diamond going the way of the flying spur filly, Rodine. Dan Nikolic, two wins in the Blue Diamond. Mick Price, three wins today. And Dan three the Smart. Three wins too. Absolutely. Mm. And let's savour this moment as Dan returns, enjoying every minute of this. He knows how to get up in the big races. He's done it so many times before, Richard. He has. Um, since he came back to riding and uh, really got going during the spring where he had a, a fantastic spring carnival, Danny's got his confidence up. And when you see jocks with their confidence up like that, keep following them because they just win from anywhere on any day. So 12-4-7 if you've taken first fours, 12-4-7 and 11, Divine Secret in fourth position. Now there's the Cheltenham detail. Stalls back and they're racing. They've broken a good line too. Kuzi, Halliburry both bounced away quickly with How Funny on the outside. Just behind those Rodine as they settle into stride and going through. Halliburry took to the lead now from Gallic Princess and moving up on the inside shrinks. Rinky Dink back in the middle. Then Kuzi from How Funny, Scaredy Cat. Further back, Ra Sun. Rodine drifting back from Divine Secret. Hammerbeam last of all at the 800 metre mark and Halliburry in front. The favourite leads the Blue Diamond a length and a half to Rinky Dink. Gallic Princess third outside it. Shrinks is over on the fence. Three quarters to 
to how funny a length into QZ. Three quarters, Rasun. Two to Rodine. Further back in the race, Scaredy Cat, Divine Secret, and Hammerbeam. The leader is Halibri. Coming up to the home turn, nearly a length in front of Gallic Princess. She drifts towards the centre of the track, Halibri, but she straightens up. A length and a half, Gallic Princess, and on the outside is how funny. Back nearer the inside, Rinky Dink, followed further back by QZ. Halibri down to the 300 metre mark, extends. She's two lengths in front of Gallic Princess. Rodine down the outside, coming after it, followed by Divine Secret. Rodine's gone up to Halibri. QZ back to the inside. Rodine took the lead, drifted in a little, but Rodine's coming away, and Rodine will take the diamond. Two lengths to QZ. Halibri a length away, third. Fourth is Divine Secret. Then came Gallic Princess, a gap to How Funny. Further back, Rinky Dink shrinks, followed by Scaredy Cat, Hammerbeam, and Rasun, last of all. 12 Rodine, Danny Nikolic, 6.20 and 2.20, defeating 4 Kuzi at 2.50. Third will go to 7, Halliburry, the favourite, $1.40. Number 12, Rodine, has taken out the Blue Diamond. Number 12, out wide. Number 12, Rodine. Rodine, number 12 for Dan Nikolic, who goes from success to success for Mickey Price. Missed the prelude after having a bit of a setback after a terrific run in the uh, Blue Diamond pre uh, previews back on the 27th. And Rodine has got up to Halibri, who sailed around the home turn in front. Rodine, the widest runner, coming down the outside, hard ridden, but picked up enormous ground to go after Halibri with about 150 to go. She came in, he straightened her up off Halibri, and she has come home an easy winner from Cousy. Third in is Halibri and officially fourth Divine Secret. Now first off the correct weight through at Kembler on race five the numbers uh, on the Superfector 65324 and 11 dividend $6,660.90 the first four 653 and 2 $1,082.70 the first four with correct weight at Doombin race four on 649 and 8 $998.90 and repeating the first four at uh, Bendigo on race number five, paying on four three five nine sixty three dollars. Twelve Rodian at Caulfield six twenty two twenty. Danny Nicolick the rider four Kiersey two fifty seven. Halibri third a dollar forty. Quinella twenty four dollars. Exacta fifty dollars eighty. Trifecta one hundred and thirty six sixty. The double pair of twelve thirty three forty. And the special dividend five fifty. Tab dividends for the experts in home refinancing. Xenia Mortgages. Call 1300 85 85 55. 1300 85 85 55. Conditions apply. Yes, so kind of the presentation's going on here at the moment and uh, former champion AFL player Michael Christian just got a blood nose while he was giving this speech. <laughs> so got a bloody nose. <laughs> the pressure must have been too much. It would be intense in the group one winner circle. It was. It was funny to watch, but, you know, he's OK. Just on Mick Price, he spent some time with Lee Friedman's stable. He was my foreman for a while. When we were down at Epsom with the Floyd Pod Gornick horses, uh, Nick, Nick was, I was in charge and Nick was 2IC and oh, he's been well educated. Knows how to uh, handle one. You're good at taking a rap, aren't you? Yeah, well, I've got to get something else. Once again, thanks to... Absolutely. Saved reflected glory. <laughs> Our riding amendment, race seven at Randwick today. El Morata, Hugh uh, Bowman now will have the sitter board, El Morata. So that is confirmed for race seven. El Morata, Hugh Justin, Bowman. Justin, so they me. move into line. Also, the Breeders' Classic. Jay, Ian Craig standing John, by. We have a value bet uh, next at Doombin. More on that shortly. In the meantime, here's Ian. And, uh, just like... The first to Ms Bowie. So we haven't had a favourite successful so far. Ancient song, a stable mate of High Life, who won earlier, as I just mentioned. Now, here's Plain Crazy, again bandaged on the front legs, moving into the stools. And Robert Thompson will remount in same. Kahila Baby and a Maitland Gold are the two away. This race last year, run at Warwick Farm, was taken out by Gwendolyn Chris Munts, beat another Misty, and Poppet ran third. Now, Kahila Baby being led forward. And that'll pave the way for Maitland Gold. Ancient song, Brent Stanley aboard. Brent won the first on Ms Bowie. And Ancient song with the yellow blinkers to match the predominantly yellow colours. And they're all in, set for the Breeders' Classic. 
They're off this time, and the heavily backed favourite ancient song got the best of it. Plain Crazy came out pretty well. Miss Helter Skelter and Pompeii with Rosa Marada and Ritual improve, but settling. And ancient song is a clear cut leader from Pompeii, Ritual, Rosa Marada. Wide Miss Helter Skelter, then a ha ha, Plain Crazy, Maitland Gold. Gahila Baby followed by Hepton Stall, Miss Zoe Republic Lass, and Absolute is Hosanna. They work their way along the side past the 700 marker, and ancient song a length and a half on. Miss Helter Skelter out wide, Pompey the middle, Ritual the rail, then Rosa Marada between Deep Plain Crazy, Ha Ha the fence over Gahila Baby, Maitland Gold, Miss Zoe, then Hepton Stall and Hosanna, and Republic Lasses last. Ancient Song taken five off the rails around the corner, a length on Ritual, Miss Helter Skelter third, near enough to the fence, Ha Ha, then Pompey, Plain Crazy and Gahila Baby, Ritual raced up to Ancient Song, Miss Helter Skelter is joining in, followed by Pompey, and here's Hosanna rattling down the outside. Miss Helter Skelter hits the front from Ritual. A bit of tightening. And down the outside comes Hosanna. But it's Miss Helter Skelter's Breeders Classic. Miss Helter Skelter has beaten Hosanna Ritual. Then Ancient Song with Miss Zoe Republic. Last caught the eye. Really zoomed to the line from Ha Ha Pompeii. And then Plain Crazy followed by Maitland Gold. Another length or so. Rosa Marada, Gahila Baby. And last to complete the course was Hepton Stall. The winner of the Breeders' Classic is Miss Helter Skelter. Number 14, Miss Helter Skelter, written by Lane Maloney for David Payne, who's really starting to make a name for himself in Sydney. Former top South African trainer and really starting to uh, feel his uh, feet here in uh, Sydney. And he's done a good job with this horse. Miss Helter Skelter and watch out for Carnegie Express whilst I have a moment. David will start the horse uh, under his uh, trainership for the first time next Saturday, all being well in the Parramatta Cup, 2,000 metres. He worked brilliantly here today, Carnegie Express. But back to the placings here, 14, 7, 13, 5. And David Payne registers a significant win with Miss Helter Skelter and young Lane Maloney in the winner's circle. A couple of eye-catching runs there. Ritual ran well, but how about Hosanna? Yeah, good first up run. We said before the race she has a good first up record, rattled home strongly, and uh, I think you'll see her in the winner's stall very soon. You think she's the sort of mare that perhaps could be aimed towards a race like the Group 1 Coolmore Classic, a daughter of Octagonal. In the meantime, Doombin standing by, Class 6 over the 1,604. And they're racing in the Breeders' Classic. And one of the best to begin in the centre of the track would have been uh, with Crazy bouncing out very quickly along the inside rail then. Uh, would have been one moving up very quickly. Uh, would have been a Ritual over on the outside then. Uh, moving up very quickly too is Rosa Marada being followed by Ha Ha. A gap for the back then is uh, just Crazy being followed up the head of the others then by Maitland Gold. A uh, Gahila Baby's a fair way back on the field and so all so is uh, Hepton Stall being followed a fair way back to by Miss Zoe, uh, Hosanna and Republic Lasses last of all as they came towards the corner and Ancient Song has got to the front and Ancient Song is going to bring them around the turn in a dance of ritual. Miss Helter Skelter the good thing over on the outside the boys have backed it and it's running on fairly well and here's Ha Ha on the fence coming home with a grand run and down the outside then is playing crazy halfway down the straight and in the centre Ritual's in front. The grey is doing a little bit better than Miss Helter Skelter. Miss Helter Skelter's calling upon her intestinal fortitude and Miss Helter Skelter's got there from the fast finishing. Hosanna. Uh, Ritual was next. Republic lasts a good run being followed then in the centre by Plain Crazy. A gap for the back behind the men uh, probably in the centre uh, would have been uh, Rosa Marada being followed by Maitland Gold a fair way back in the event then too uh, would have been Gahila Baby and last to pull up in the event would have been Hepton Stall. Wait for judges official placings but there's no element of doubt about the money. Boys you pick the right one and you're going to pick up the thick end of the bacon and I can tell you brother that's the juicy end. <laughs> Just waiting on the winning number but there's no element of doubt about the money. Stand by. Just waiting for that number to be semaphored. Number 14 Miss Helter Skelter ridden by Lane Maloney was first. Well, of course, he certainly was. Miss Helter Skelter, number 16, first across the line, no doubt about that. Seven, Hosanna will get second, and 13, Rich will likely for third. And um, I think that we should probably go straight to fantasysportscenter.com and just get on the same sort of stuff that Jack's on, because 
We didn't pick that, but... No, uh, we didn't. And uh, whatever Jack is on, I'll tell you what, I'll just order three kilos of it because he's having a tremendous day out there. And, uh, Jack, we do, we actually weren't on the uh, juicy end of the bacon. We were sucking on the rhino, old boy, because we were on uh, Maitland Gold. Yeah, we got, we got the hocks and uh, someone else got the ham, but uh, let's take a break now and we'll regather ourselves and uh, get our teeth into something else. Attention corporate companies. What Breck and Rose, Special Grange and Flash Bash. And Breck and Rose, who's won six of seven, looks like running top pick on track at this point. A little between it and Special Grange. It's just continued to drift out Special Grange. The wet track's got a few punters worried. There's Arabia going into line now, the grey. Tally Thunder walking up into the line now. Flash Bash does take a rise in grade, but she's a very good wet tracker. Now Special Grange moved into the gates. Flash Bash next to get set for Stephen Arnold. Day so far dominated by Mick Price with his two winners. His stable uh, consists now of 34 two-year-olds and 23-year-olds. He's really put his stocks in the younger horses. He's purchased 20 yearlings in recent weeks too, so... The uh, gamble of buying young horses is paying off big time for Mick Price. Now, best picture moved up into the stalls. Said one wet track run for a victory. Snatch it to move in. Breck and Rose is about to come up. Glenn Boss looking for his third win. Galapagos girl away from the line. Interestingly, uh, Brian Mayfield-Smith is a real scratcher of his horses when he strikes wet ground, but he's left Galapagos Girl in here today, and it has come in for some good support, indicating that he believes that she'll handle the ground, and an outside barrier, no great disadvantage, particularly once they negotiate that top turn and come up the side. Snatch it ready. Breck and Rose moved in, so we need gold Lottie to move up. She's actually unbeaten in two wet track starts. She's coming up now with the barrier blanket on. A $12 chance. Gold lot he goes in. And a Galapagos girl completes the lineup. Breck and Rose heavily supported on track to run. Favourite. Special grain still just holding top billing on the tote. But uh, has been very easy on course. Light flashes. Yellow fire has the inside. They're off now. And uh, missing the start about a length, Polaris and Special Grange gets back with Tally Thunder. Yellow Fire is first out. Flash Bash began quickly in Galapagos. Girl from the outside barriers driving across trying to find the lead. Uh, getting tight in there, Breck and Rose got the head up and lost a bit of ground. And it's Galapagos Girl not crossing. Trapped three wide in front of Flash Bash going up to join it. Yellow Fire a length away the rail. Breck and Rose fourth and wide, followed by Best Picture. The Grey Arabia a length and a half away, and then Double Dazzle out wide around Gold Lottie to Tally Thunder. Kayano moving up on the outside. Special Grange between mares, a length and a half to snatch it towards the tail of the field. And Polaris last of all. Flash Bash is the leader now. Out by a half, Galapagos Girl. Third, Breck and Rose. Ella Fire ahead away fourth on the inside, and then Best Picture Arabia sneaking through on the inside. Next, Double Dazzle. Special Grange making a little ground from Tully Thunder. Gold Lottie. Kayano, Snatchet and Polaris. Flash Bash led Galapagos Girl coming around the home turn. Arabia saving plenty of ground along the inside and then Alifaya and Breckenrose next on the outside from Special Grange. Galapagos Girl, Flash Bash with Arabia coming at them on the inside. Alifaya switched out wide to make ground and not much else is running on. Headed by Special Grange. Galapagos Girl, Flash Bash. Alifaya is a big danger. Galapagos Girl hit the lead from Flash Bash. Alifaya the outside. Galapagos Girl and Alifaya, now they hit the line. Looks like Galapagos Girl might have just got it from Alifaya and Flash Bash, a photo finish. And those uh, three were well clear too. Special Grange, Arabia, Snatch It, followed by Tully Thunder, Kayano, Polaris, and then Gold Lottie, followed by Best Picture, Double Dazzle, and Breckenrose dropped out and ran last. Photo finish here. It's a good finish. Judge calls for the camera. Three-way go. We had uh, Galapagos Girl in the centre. Alifaya's made a good bid on the outside. And Flash Bash on the inside. 13 has got it. Galapagos Girl. Brett Preble. At good odds. 13 and well tried too. Second goes to nine. Alifaya. Luke Curry. And third six. Flash Bash. 
written by Stephen Ardell, 13, 9 and 6. Now the numbers, 13, 9 and 6. Galapagos girl, four-year-old daughter of De Heer and Rain Tain by Century, Brian Mayfield-Smith and Brett Preble drew the outside barrier. Brett drove her forward, she sat three wide, up on the pace for much of the journey, found the best ground, and in a three-way driving finish, she's got home. Well, the lead was uh, given to us by Brian Mayfield-Smith, leaving her in on a wet track, and she was tried at odds. Those who uh, worked that out have got some nice juicy odds about it on race seven. It's 13.96. That's a great leg up from before the race, Brian Mayfield-Smith, and a very famous set of colours, the Holmes Accord families, maroon with the white Maltese cross, Richard. Mm, Black Knight won a Melbourne Cup in those colours. Fantastic effort, that jumping from the outside gate. She, uh, she travelled beautifully in the run and then finished off well. LFI, the stable mate, doing her best work late. And flash Bash wasn't a bad run either. A uh, couple of disappointing ones in the run, but track's hard to read at the moment. You know, so I think you've, you've got to still stick with horses with a bit of wet track form. Heavily tried favourite, Breck and Rose chased them all home. Yeah, didn't have much luck in the run and uh, gave up in the straight, you know, but she had had a few, uh, a few traffic jams in the transit. Number four has run fourth, which is Special Grange. Let's look ahead to Cheltenham. This is the sixth race on the... Off and running this time, and Polaris missed it about three quarters. Special Grange was getting back, and one of the first out, Ella Fire. Flash Bash travelling forward and further out here is Brecken Rose. And Galapagos Girl's going to whip across from the outside. Uh, getting its head up, Brecken Rose lost a bit of ground, and Galapagos Girl got a half to Flash Bash. Can't cross over Galapagos Girl. Flash Bash went up inside it. A length into Ella Fire from Brecken Rose now up fourth. Best picture, the middle fifth, the length and a half, Arabaya. Further back in the race then came Gold Lotti as they come down the side. Double Dazzle is out deep, a length and a half, further back, Kayano. Over on the inside, then Tully Thunder, Special Grange, the middle. One further back, Snatch it, and Polaris last of all. Inside the 800, they're only dawdling, and the leader is Flash Bash, a half Galapagos girl, a length and a half into Brecken Rose. Third outside, Ella Fire, fourth. A length into Best Picture, Arabaya getting up on the inside as the leaders shift out. Then Double Dazzle, followed by Special Grange the middle, Tully Thunder the inside, Wonder Gold, Lottie further back, Kayano, Snatch it and Polaris last of all. Coming around the home turn, Flash Bash from Galapagos Girl, Arabaya the Grey to the inside, then further back, Breck and Rose, Alify getting down the middle from Tully Thunder, further back then Special Grange, halfway up the running now, and it's Galapagos Girl from Flash Bash on the outside, Alify, Galapagos Girl, Alify on the outside coming at it, Flash Bash fighting back, great go to the line, Galapagos Girl just in front, Galapagos Girl. Wins it a half head to Ella Fire and a nose to Flash Bash. A gap then Special Grange followed by Arabaya. Snatch it made ground from Gull Lottie. Just behind those Tully Thunder further back Kayano. Best picture, Gold Lottie pulling up quickly. Then Polaris, double dazzle. And Breck and Rose wanted to over race early as back near the tail. 13 Galapagos Girl, Brett Preble, 1170 and 380. Defeating nine, Ella Fire at 420. Third will go to the six, a Flash Bash at $2.40. And about to move in, race one at Ascot. The favourite is one. Freaky Contiki, two thirty a dollar ten over four. Lona Sierra, three thirty one forty. Then Royal Fire, number two, six sixty one seventy. Photo or placings Caulfield at Kembla, a half head by two and a half, one twelve thirteen. The sectional thirty six thirty seven on race six. Updating race six at Cheltenham. One is at five thirty two thirty. Favourite twelve is out. Thirteen Princess Taylor, thirteen and four. Fifty cents. Note the track now reached dead at Randwick this afternoon. The track now reached dead, so you'll notice a change with some Sky ratings. Uh, with the dry track readings, dry, good and fast, sky ratings, uh, and they change if the tracks become slow or heavy. So there may be some alteration. Uh, if you purchase them online, you'll notice the differences. Here's Ian Craig. El Marada's in. So they're just about right for the expressway stakes, $1.50, $1.20 for Lonro. And uh, just a tick, only a tick shorter in the ring. Now,